um, all this gang banging shit and all that. No, we ain't even gonna start that. She sent me to Lubbock, Texas, where hey. my whole family is from. Homie. When I'm in, when I'm, in Lubbock. I'm in the tenth grade. She sent me to Lubbock, Texas, homie. So I'm like, all right, I'm getting away from all the bullshit. She sent me to, down there with her cousin. That's like basically like her sister. On the way home from the airport, homie. This is not long after colors. We coming from home from the airport, pulling up over there. I forgot what's over there by Dunbar High School, homie. Okay. It's 30 Crips at the park having initiations as I'm uh, as I'm pulling up. <laughs> in Texas. In Texas, nigga. <laughs> See? And this is the first, and I'm talking about this is the beginning, because there was no other. Uh, no, I put, it might have been the day they started Crips in love, because the day I <laughs> Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. With my boy AD is going yeah, yeah, down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, we on the show. We on Boss Talk 101, man. We got a special treat for y'all, but make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you guys join the membership. It's going down. I promise you, the behind the scenes on there, you won't see some of the things that you're gonna get on that membership page. But man, my guy's in the building. Mitchie Slick, what's going on, man? Mitchie Slick. What's up, AD? Thank what's you up, for AD? coming up, on man? Boss Talk 101. Good, good looking for sitting down with me. Man. Just a, it's an honor and a pleasure, first of all, man. Like why? So you from San Diego? San Diego, man. So let's get into it, man. Like, like, come, how was it coming up in San Diego, man? Uh, San Diego was pretty fast paced, based on the time that I that I grew up. Everywhere was kind of moving in that crack era. If you was nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, all the during that era, you were seeing a lot of things happen. A lot of things change. So it's just like any other Southern Cali. Uh, you know, heavily urban populated area where I grew up. I grew up in Lincoln Park. That's Southeast San Diego, Logan and Euclid, Lincoln High School. Nationally, they might know that area right there. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, it was the same as it is in any other story. You know what I'm saying? From Southern California. But was it okay when you from Texas, right? Mm -hmm. And you, you know, I watch Colors, nigga. You don't know nothing about come on, that. Come you on, young, man. man. Colors, I'm young man. You hot top, all that. Oh, come oh, on. I know wait come a minute, on, man. When you watch that, you 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 would look up here and you would think, man, LA got you know gangs, but you didn't think about San Diego. You didn't think about all these other places around here. Did they have like gang violence and stuff in San Diego? See, see, I trip off that because that's like saying. Um, like say for instance, if no matter where you from, if you in mm -hmm. Texas and you fucking up, when niggas go to jail, they all go to the same jail. That's real. That's real. So how could how could something be going on in jail where everybody's at that's not going on in the city that's an hour and a half, two hours away? It's all the same. It's thing. right, and it ain't even far. You know, you got to think about it. When you were down in Texas, you ain't even looking at the map like when you're young. See, when colors come out. Yeah. I'm too young to be even thinking. We ain't had a, the phones wasn't out. I you got know, a story about that, homie. But that's why, that's because of the media and the movies and everything have pushed, like even, even you know, NWA, everything has been LA, 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 LA. I don't know one place in California you can't go where ain't no hoods Listen, out there. If it's a black community <laughs> in Southern California, it belongs to some bloods or some crips. Facts. There's not no black community nowhere in Southern California that don't belong to bloods or crips. Facts. Wow. That's wow. what it is. None. It ain't no sign up. Or, you know, it's, it's no, you you born over here and that's what it is. And you can say you're not from over there all you want, but you're going to be treated like that by people that ain't from that area. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I got a story, though, about my Texas experience with what you're talking about. Okay. I got to bring it up because you said two things. You said the, the movie Colors. Correct. And you said... Texas, check it out, AD. So this this is when I first started cutting up. My mama really didn't know I was cutting up all the way. And we go to the Pop Warner Cubo, and me and another San Diego legend from the other side got into it, homie. You know what I'm saying? Had a real brawl, and all the parents found out what was going on and why it happened. It was some street shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm about 13 or 14, and um, mom's was like, that's it. You out of here. Send me to... Um, all this gang banging shit and all that. No, we ain't even gonna start that. She sent me to Lubbock, Texas, where hey. my whole family is from. Homie. When I'm in, when I'm, in the, I'm in the tenth grade. She sent me to Lubbock, Texas, homie. So I'm like, all right, I'm getting away from all the bullshit. She sent me to, down there with her cousin. That's like basically like her sister. On the way home from the airport, homie. This is not long after colors. We coming from home from the airport, pulling up over there. I forgot what's over there by Dunbar High School, homie. Okay. 
it's 30 Crips at the park having initiations as I'm uh, as I'm pulling up. <laughs> in Texas. In Texas, <laughs> nigga. See? And this is the first, and I'm talking about this is the beginning, because there was no other... No, I put it might have been the day they started Crips and Love because the day I <laughs> the whole recruitment process. Bro. And it was niggas from 30s from out here. They mm. was out there in the park getting it cracking. They was running it. And this is a block away from my where I gotta live now. Yeah. And my mama. You thought you was getting away from the bullshit. No, no, no. He, no, he, on, he, on, he on the real because that's what they, that's no, what they do. Active. It was like, active. Like it he, was stupid active over there in Lubbock. They was gang banging, homie, back in like. Motherfucking like 89, 88. Active. Yeah, you got to think about it, man. I was down by Shreveport. It was crazy. Mm -hmm. Shreveport, Louisiana, just where I'm from, it's like maybe 25 miles away. Damn. So you got to think about Shreveport. They, they they were migrating down there. They was I, they was going down there. You know, I talked to the OGs, all of them. They, man, that's where we was going. Like, so, you know. And it was fucked up because I come from a time when that's all we knew in the streets. You know, the gangbang code is what Southern California is about. Mm -hmm. That's just our street politics is gangbang shit. West Coast gangbanging. So to come up like that and to be able to go somewhere where I saw it wasn't no gangs really, I guess a couple of weeks ago into where now they cripping and blooding. It was niggas. I was down there in the, in the six month period of time I was down there. It was niggas that was friends when I when I had got there that had killed each other by the time I left. Damn. Wow. I like some cripping and blood and shit that niggas didn't even have to pick up because it ain't from out there. And that's crazy, like you know right. I, mean? yeah. I always ask the question when whenever the OGs or something would come down to Texas and do the interviews, we're like, do y'all respect the you know when other people in other states are doing something that's from the streets that you guys live on? And I got different answers, you know what I mean. But it's it's just it's different because they're not based out from up here. But at the end of the day, that movie and different things, different cousins, my cousins on Hoover, I told you that. I just was over there this morning. They've been over there since the 60s. Mm -hmm. My uncle told me this morning, he said, I was here. I said, because my wife, first thing she said, oh, he on Hoover Street. Uh, it must be, he was a game man when he was growing up. My, <laughs> it's just I, a street. So I brought, no, I brought, yeah. I brought it up to my uncle. I was over there this morning. I said, He's hey. Like, Hell yeah. <laughs> no, he didn't. You know what he said? You want to know what he said? What he said? He said I, I moved there in 61. It wasn't really no gangs into right. the 70s. Right. He mm -hmm. really, like, he here, he's 70. Mm -hmm. he's no, he's uh, 80, 80, 81. He'd been here. Mm -hmm. So think about it. He was 20. Mm -hmm. It's crazy how it started, what it started for, mm -hmm. and what it, trans. you know what I'm saying, yeah. translated to later. Yeah. It's crazy. It's crazy. It started off, you know, our people staying together. Black Panther, like, you know, spin off of the Black Panther movement. And yeah, man, that shit, that shit's crazy that, that it, everywhere you go now, there's, there's yes, crimson sir. bloods yes, everywhere. Sir. But just for the record, the same shit that was going on with the with the racial tension and shit in L.A. during the mm -hmm. 60s, we was having the same shit going on in San Diego. It was Big Panther and police riots in San Diego during the same time. So the same reasons why they started in, in L.A. would be the same reasons why they started in San Diego. Thanks. You know? Wow. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.